Hello, it's Jason Payne for Coal Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm coming to you from one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in the Texas Hill Country and Greater San Antonio area. And of course, I'm talking about Cordillera Ranch. Just off 46, love the location. You got Bernie just down the road from us, Boverde the other direction, uh, things like the Guadalupe River State Park, love it. Done videos on all those. But anyways, I'm out here because I have a client getting a beautiful home being built by Casa de Main out of here in Cordillera Ranch. So of course, this will be my first video of it because it finally got to the stage where it looks a little interesting. Let's go check it out. Now this plan is based on the model home that uh, Costa de Maine has at their Bell Oaks location in Bulverde. And if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go in, talk to Ryder, and hey, might as well mention my name, say you've been watching my videos. But this community is a really nice community. Uh, if you see my motorcycle tour of this, you know, I've mentioned this like, yeah, George Strait even lives out here. Um, there's two different sides of this community. Uh, this is the older part of Cordillera Ranch that section that has the uh, clubhouse the golf course isn't too far from here it also has access to the guadalupe river that comes with being in this community there's a newer section called uh cordillera springs but because that's a newer section uh if you're thinking about building out there make sure you ask about their mud tax uh their multiple utility dis district communities pay for that have the clients pay for that to help get the utilities in there. But because this has been around for such a long time, this side, that mud tax is no longer there. So uh, tax rate, this is a really good community to be in. All right, if you see all this little green side, this is a zip system. Casa Domain does use that, makes the house a lot more sturdy, windproof and waterproof. Uh, I really am a big fan of the zip system and I'm glad to see Casa Domain uses it. Uh, I think the tax rate in this community is about 1.7, which is absolutely phenomenal. All right, uh, let me head on inside and show you this beautiful home. All right, this house obviously is still under construction, so some of this have to use your imagination too, but uh, my client's out of state, so I definitely want to do a couple more videos throughout the build process. But this can be the big front door, opening it now, do a little uh, foyer set up. But one of the things you see right when you come in is just how tall and grand these ceilings are going to be. This is massive. The square footage of this home is going to be just over 4,100 square feet. The lot is just over two acres. This is going to be just a really showstopper of a home as it, once it's completed. All right, what we're seeing here is going to be the main living space. You do see the two built-in plugs. So plenty of room to put your couches and living room stuff. They do have the sliding door. Uh, behind us is gonna be your kind of dining room setup. And this is gonna be your kitchen setup. I'm gonna come back to this, but, but I wanna show off this side of the house first. Um, one of the few differences in this compared to the model home in Bell Oaks is the model home has a little bit of an office space in here. <clears throat> Pardon me. But because you can do completely custom stuff, they got rid of that room and just kind of pushed this whole wall back some. Also, uh, you'll see if you go and talk to that, check out the model home, it's got a casita built into it. My client is pulled the door to the casita it's to right here, you see kind of framed out. This can be the door. So if they have someone else living with them, this is their whole little world right here. It's kind of neat. And they'll have their own private entrance. So let's pretend we just kind of came in the private entrance. Here we go, coming in their private entrance. You do have a little coat closet right up front. They'll have their own uh, living room space. See, they got the mud inset plug there. They still got gonna have some really tall ceilings and lots of space to hang out as your living room. So this is also gonna have the ability to have this as their bedroom. <clears throat> so the, once again, this can be a really tall bedroom, a really nice bedroom. Gonna have your shower and uh, your toilets can be right around the corner there. <clears throat> and this is the really good sized closet for the mother-in-law suite or whoever they have living in here. 
So it's gonna be nice to have their, giving them their own real space. So they don't have to be, feel like they're intruding on <coughs> their family so much if they don't want to. But of course, if you want to, you just come right through this door and now you're in the rest of the house. Now this wing of the house is gonna have the secondary bedrooms. This is gonna be one of them. So good size room with their own good size little mini walk-in closet. It's gonna be a little bit of a Jack and Jill setup for these two bedrooms. So you can see there's gonna be a wall here. This is gonna be the big shower. Dual vanities on this side and the toilet. So, and then another door here going into the other bedroom. So, bing, bing, we're in the other bedroom now. So, coming in here, they're gonna still have the same size closet as the other bedroom we were just in. All right, coming down the hallway a little bit further. I could be mistaken, so if my clients are looking at this and it's like, it's, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be your game room. You're gonna have a private bath set up with a shower. Um, this house is gonna have a pool, so this is gonna be the perfect entrance for coming in from the pool, which is gonna be right off this deck. Coming in, you can use the bathroom, take a shower, rinse off, but also have a little game room kind of thing set up here as well. So that's what this looks like it's being built up as, as a game room. And a nice little closet space and stuff in here. All right, mentioned, I showed you a little sneak peek of the outside. So let's go ahead and walk on out. This is gonna be a really big entertainment spot of the house because it's a really nice deck. You do have like this half wall sliding doors. Um, right now, as I'm filming it, it is 22 April, 2023. And we have, we've been getting some decent rains lately, which is nice. But right now, it's a little chillier than what it usually is this time of year. We're at 77 degrees and sunny, so this is an ideal day to be having that whole wall wide open. But yeah, check out this backyard. This is going to be, like I said, it's two acres. You can see kind of the fence line going back behind those oak trees. And it just keeps going back and the other corners back behind those oak trees way back there. So tons of room to do whatever you want. They got kind of the outline of where the pool's going to be and just so much uh, deck space. The sun sets off this direction here, so no worries about um, the sun coming in and just melting you come August time span in this space. So this is gonna be a really neat spot to be able to just be outside pretty much year round. All right, let's head back to the main living space of the house. Just, I'm just blown away by how tall these ceilings are going to be. <coughs> Pardon me. And I want to show off the kitchen area. Like I said, uh, we were just in the model talking to Ryder. And yeah, this kitchen is going to be gorgeous. Going to have your stove set up on this side. Uh, dishwasher, sink, all that stuff is going to be along this area. So it's going to be really neat. And of course, you're going to have to have a big pantry if you're going to have a big house. Check this bad boy out. This is gonna be a, a massive pantry walking in. So if you fill this up, oh man, that, that's a lot of food. You can stockpile food for a very long time. All right, now on to the master bedroom wing of the house because literally you got kind of a whole wing to yourself. All right, this is gonna be kind of a door. Well, before I do that, let me show off the uh, coming in from the garage. All right, this is gonna have a, kind of an oversized three car garage. This is a big garage, tall ceiling in here. You can have dual water heaters, so you're never gonna have to worry about running out of hot water. Plum for water softeners. But yeah, this is a really big three car garage with its own door entry. Kind of nice. And then you're gonna come in, get a little mud room set up, a little bench set up there. And this is your laundry room. Now notice there's a door on the other side of this laundry room. We'll get to that later. But this is gonna be the side of the laundry room that's open to everybody. This door here is gonna be entering into the master bedroom suite area. So you open that door, you come in, 
and you're going to be blown away with how gorgeous this bathroom is going to be. Uh, but I'll, let me get back to that. I want to show you this bedroom first. Tall, A-shaped -shape, bedroom ceilings here. Lots of room. Big old windows. And, of course, a door out to the patio area. So you can just go straight out there if you want to sip on your coffee. You don't have to go through the whole house if you don't want to. All right, now let's go back to checking out this bathroom. All right, you're gonna have dual vanities, one on each side. Bing, bing. Really good sized sh mud inset shower. And then your tub. And if they did this tub anything like uh, what the model home is, and I'm gonna go and link the video to the model home, but that tub is just a showstopper when you walk in here. And you see the lights already set up. Uh, because we're on just over two acres, I don't know. You wouldn't have to worry about what to, but you can see your neighbors there, so they might put some drapes or something up. But your toilet room, and then my wife, she's out here with me today because it's such a gorgeous day, and it's never a bad idea to take your family out to uh, Bernie or check out this community. But look at this closet. She was like, oh my God, this closet is huge. It just keeps going. Even more. It's like, man, that is a big closet. And I mentioned the laundry room before. This is a sneaky need that I don't think a lot of builders put in. But <clears throat> being able to do all of your laundry for the owners of the house, be able to just grab their dirty laundry and just go straight to the washer and dryer. Just open up this door and boom, you're in the laundry room. That is just such a convenience right there. You don't have to carry your laundry basket to the other side of the house. It's just wham, bam, and you're done. And go straight back to hanging it up in this massive closet. So I really like that feature. Just make sure you've got a lock on this door. Because if you've got little ones, you really don't want them to be able to just come right into your uh, closet. But this is going to be such a really neat little master bedroom wing of the house until you come out this side and when you're ready come out to the rest of the house one last look at this it's just gorgeous it's really nice light coming in from up top too so excited to see how this house uh gets completed and build times right now um because the market has slowed down due to interest rates Trades are really begging for work now, so builders that used to say houses were taking a year plus to get built, they're knocking them out much faster now because now you got trades calling up builders saying, please, we want work. And they're getting work done a lot faster than they were just, say, uh, nine months ago when we were in the frenzy. And, so, and that's on production side, too. This is full custom. But production side, they definitely are putting them up faster now. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this house that's being built by Casa de Maine in uh, Cor Cordillera Ranch, Bernie, Texas. Love this community, very exclusive. Builders actually have to interview to get the right to build in here. And if you are considering building in Cordillera Ranch, keep in mind there's going to be a little bit extra expenses because the community wants you to build a certain way and they have some restrictions on how you build it. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about building in Cordillera Ranch. They do have uh, horse stables, shooting clubs. Look them up online. Uh, Cordillera Ranch would not let me do an amenities tour because they said they paid someone else a lot of money to do that. So they wouldn't let me do it, but I've been on it and it's amazing. The pools, the clubhouse is really cool. Uh, funny story, there, the person was telling me, he's like, yeah, George Strait eats up here quite a bit. And no one really pays attention to him because they're like, yeah, he's just another guy, which he really is just another guy, but still kind of cool. Um, they do have golf club memberships for this place, but they said that people, that's really hard to get. It's extra, but uh, the demand is so high to be part of their golf club. It's a separate thing and it's kind of hard to get into. But the clubhouse is amazing. I uh, really like this community a lot, the location, the exclusiveness of it. Uh, 
But yeah, if you're interested in more information, feel free to reach out to me or keep watching my videos. I have done a motorcycle tour of this community and uh, happy to help anybody thinking about building something like this. I'm happy to help you with that. Uh, so if you want to reach out to me, feel free to call me or text me or I'm also going to leave a link in the description box for how to schedule a Zoom meeting with me. All right, that's going to do it. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.